hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to archive buckets here in microsoft planner let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in microsoft planner i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Microsoft Planner doesn't currently have a built-in feature for archiving buckets or tasks. However, there are several effective workarounds we can choose and use to archive completed buckets and keep your planner board organized. Once you are logged into your account here in Microsoft Planner, I want you to click on the left side panel of your dashboard and click My Plans. From here, just choose the plan that you wanted to archive buckets. For example, in my case, I'm going to be choosing this one. Click on it. Now here, these are going to be the buckets that you have, like you have like a uh, post offer acceptance, T plus feedback and a lot more, All right? And of course you can group buckets by assigned to progress, due date, labels and priorities. So you have a lot. Now, one thing that I would like you to do is to rename a bucket. For example, this one is going to be archive one. Okay. And this one may be, might be like archive two. Or the last one is going to be something like completed. So this um, way, you can keep them accessible if needed for reference, but out of the main workflow. All right, if you know what I mean. Now, if you click on the specific task here, for example, this, right? Since it's already archived, go to the add a task and then I click on it. Just click on the completed section here. And of course, from here, you can put in archive one right priority is set to low because it's already archived and you can add an item and add attachment if you want it so these are some of the workarounds that you can choose to make sure that you have kind of like i'm sorted the uh, buckets to archive list all right now obviously you can move them around here the archive ones are on the back right or you can right click move right or move left it's up to you all right so using these strategies you can keep your microsoft planner organized while retaining access to past projects even without a formal archive feature so that's one way now obviously you need to have an access permission to do all this because if you're not the admin of the uh, planner you're not going to be able to rename all of these all right make sure you have the uh, privilege to do that or ask your administrator or even your, your client and that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.